Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Dragon Riders Around the Watch D&D Talk. I am Dorgan Kishu, Paladin and Dragon Rider. Um, just decided to do, get on now. Um, I wanted to get on a, a day or two ago, um, and um, but my schedule has been a little different. And my brother actually had an idea. <clears throat> he doesn't play a lot of D&D because uh, he lives eight, my, uh, eight hours north and we don't see each other that much. But we do play on a few times. We played a few times. Play when we were younger. Anyway, he suggested I just go through the monster manual and try, you know, like, talk about, like, the possible creatures people could use for, like, you know, Halloween one-shots. He was telling me I should run one. I've never, first of all, I've never ran a one-shot. I think it would be, it must be challenging. To me, it's, the idea is challenging to, um, to do something that is only one session long. Um, that would be, I think that would be a challenge for me. Uh, but I've never tried, so it's probably possible. I, I know that I tend to. <clears throat> lean towards things going continuing so um but yeah i grabbed let me just peek mainly this channel is uh not this channel but this show around the watch uh is about talking to people and chat about dnd so i'm just going to keep an eye on chat to see if anybody comes in so that they, we can talk about dnd monsters and uh and halloween one shots and whatnot <clears throat> he actually had a good idea well he gave me a couple couple basic parts of a one shot just the very beginning part but i liked it um it's tempting i'm not sure if i'm going to do a one shot but i don't know i mean i love you know halloween stuff i don't want to talk too much about it in case i do it but all right so we're going to look through this monster manual <clears throat> and if anybody joins me they can jump in here also this will be put, I will put this video up on YouTube so people can reply then too. Once it's on my YouTube, my socials are down below. And if they if they go to my YouTube and watch it there, they can or just want to go reply to this video because they didn't see it live. You can go there and kind of talk about the kind of monsters you might use or have used in like Halloween fallish one shots. Glasses. One more peek. All right. <clears throat> okay. On a side note, I've been using this monster manual forever, and you guys, anybody who's seen me in any of these uh, streams, knows I recently bought the uh, Cobalt Press uh, Tomb of Beasts because I just wanted to just get more monsters. I do. I homebrew stuff. I make my own creatures, but not like not, not like, like on a frequent basis. So I really do use these books a lot. Arakakra, I don't even know how to pronounce some of these things. I mean, Aboleths are pretty damn creepy. I, I can't, I, I feel like I finally did use them, but I'm, I'm drawn them. I know we had, a, in my one of my campaigns, we battled um, Demigorgon in the water plane, and there were some water creatures. I almost want to say there were two of those. I think there might have been two of those. Creepy. Angels, divas and all that, you could definitely... Weave that in there. Weave them in there. Animated objects. Um, animated armor, of course. Perfect, right? The, uh, the animated armor, my uh, my mom's aunt, they had a big old house and they had like eight kids and they used to have, they actually had suits of armor. Because they used to own an antique store and it closed down. So they had all this antique stuff and they brought in these suits of armor here and there throughout their house. And uh, they had this little teeny library at the bottom and had a suit of armor. It was a very, very cool place to visit. It wasn't very close to my mom's aunt or any of her eight kids who were always there. But um, my mom was. And I just liked being there. It was a neat place. Yeah, flying swords. I mean, that's something that players generally use. Rugs of smothering. I mean, these are very haunted kind of... Let's see, okay, let's see here. We got banshees. Had some fun on the cliffside with those. And uh, basilisks, but here, let's see here. I mean, you gotta be holding, but you've got the death tyrant, which is the, you know, creepier looking. Um, yeah, death, yeah, that's, is that the end? That's not the undead beholder. I think that's something different. But no, I think it is. 
Large undead lawful evil. <clears throat> yeah, death tyrants. That's a great undead thing. Blights. I mean, it's it's. I mean, I know you can be doing this yourself and looking through this. You don't have to do this with me, but yeah, just looking. Let's see here. Peek. Make sure there's nobody in chat. Uh, F T O P A Y R. Welcome. I'm not sure if you can hear me or not. But jump in here if you want to talk about um, Halloween one shots or monsters that have you've used or think would be cool to use for Halloween one shots. Just as I'm talking about today, uh, and then of course, but mainly anything D and D that that chat wants to talk about. That's the main reason I'm here. Let's see. <clears throat> <laughs> a crawling claw. I mean, oops, that's, that's the cyclops. There it is. Yeah, that's creepy. Can I like the Addis family hand? Death Knights. Uh, you know, I played World of Warcraft for about four and a half years, back 2006, 2011, through there. And I played a Death Knight, which was a different thing, but it, um, but I believe it was an undead knight. Undead paladin? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't. Um, Paladins are my favorite class. Inside, I didn't. I did not. I had only used these Death Knights recently on a high level thing uh, campaign I'm running, and uh, I didn't know they had anything to do with Paladins, though. I believe they're uh, Paladins. Let's see here. When a, yeah, when a paladin falls from grace, dies without seeking. Let's see. When a paladin that falls from grace dies without seeking atonement. Dark powers can transform the once mortal knight into a hateful undead creature. A death knight is a skeletal warrior clad in plate armor beneath its helmet. One can see the knight's skull with malevolent pinpoints of light burning in its eye sockets. Yes. Yeah, I had several of these, like six of these, guarding a dwarven fortress that was in a mountain that had been taken control of by Ares. And anyway, he was kind of, these guys were like out front guards. He had an alliance with some, um, with another god that uh, had to do with the dead. I forget what god it was, but so there was part of the alliance was that there were these undead creatures from the other god helping out in defending this location. <clears throat> these guys are very powerful. And like I said, when I found out that they were actually paladins, I mean, paladins, like I said, my favorite things to, 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 I mean, just undead paladins. And it just was, I had a, I just had a blast as a dungeon master getting to bring the, those things to life. So if you love paladins, man, do death knights. Demi Lich. Oh, yeah. I think I've done that before. Yeah. For your Halloween thing. I think we're getting into demons here. Demons are a whole other thing. Definitely go and do a whole demon thing, I think, with something Halloween. Um, something tapping into darker evils, uh, you know, a warlock or whatever. Maybe summoning some evils uh, could be part of the one shot. That could be horrifying and cool. And I shall check. F-T-O-P-P-A-Y-R is still there. All right. <clears throat> and... Do, 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 do. Yeah, so definitely can get bring in some evils, demons, and uh, and devils. You can uh, you can definitely uh, have witches that are uh, tapping in, connect contact, making contact with demons or devils, or, you know, you can definitely make it a, a terrifying place. For a uh, group of adventurers, Dracolich, the lichy dragon, like in well, not like in Game of Thrones, but I, I re rewatched that recently. But that was wicked. Um, but yes, I've used. I believe one of my death knights was riding around a Dracolich, or one of the gods that was allied with Ares had a Dracolich. I know that. I know that is true. <clears throat> a little bit of undead dragon 
esque. Then, speaking of dragons, moving into dragons. Of course, you know, dragons are always good, but not typically Halloween, but you can, you know, anything is possible. D&D. Dragon Turtles, Riders, I, uh, I mean, kind of have some uh, drow things happening, or they're on the outskirts of happening, uh, when my main campaign with Kate, but yeah, I've been wanting to do more stuff with drow, and with Faye, and I know Wizards of the Coast is coming out with their new Witch Light book, tempted to get it, but I don't want it to be one of those books that I get and never use. But I could maybe draw some things from it because the only reason I don't end up using some of these books I've gotten from Wizard of the Coast is because I homebrew everything. So I just don't tend to run adventures from books. But like I said, there are things inside that you can pull out of it and use it. <clears throat> okay. There we're at Drow, Drow, Drow. Drow are awesome. Um. Flipping through, flipping through. Yeah, I came across an Etten. You can definitely do undead Ettens, undead ogres. Um, I think they have stats for some of this stuff. Uh, in the... Yeah, I think it is in a regular monster manual. Um, yeah, we've done... Uh, we did Orcus stuff, and uh, there were a lot of undead creatures in there. He had lots of undead humanoids. Um, highly re recommend it, just having these... I'm trying to remember Shadowfell. Shadowfell? Yeah, the Shadowfell is a wicked place. Uh, very undead, ready. Uh, there's a lich that came from there that is an ally with uh, Kate's uh, warlock. And he is, you know, he has undead with him whenever, usually when he shows up. And uh, creepy, awesome, I have to say. Necromancer. Did I say necromancer? Yeah, he's a necromancer. Uh, yeah, I haven't gotten to use Necromancers nearly enough, even though I have this NPC character in that. I, Necromancer is a pretty wicked thing. I did actually bring a Necromancer in training, I believe she was, into my most recent um, Discord group, but she didn't get very far into the campaign. Okay, she didn't die. She just didn't uh, didn't stick in a, stick in the campaign very long. Flame Skull. Flame Skull. I have never used Flame Skull. Let's see. Yeah, that's very cool. I'm only on F, so, you know. Oh, Giants. Yeah, Undead Giants. That's once again, like I said, we watched Game of Thrones recently. Again, yeah, Undead Giant in that. There's an, I think there's Undead Giants in that, yeah. It's pretty creepy. There was. Moral of the story, don't die around a necromancer. Well... Okay, ghosts, or you might come back, even if you're a giant or a dragon. Ghouls, traditional, old school, low level. I mean, you know, you fill a graveyard with these guys. The one that the idea my brother had did have it did have something to do with the graveyard. It was at least part of the setting, and um, it's it's tempting. It's tempting to create something myself. All right. Good Lord, the gibbering mouther. I mean, you want to get gruesome. You know, I tend to stick away from gruesome creatures. I know people love gruesome creatures. Um, I, I think DMs probably love them more than players. <laughs> um, and But I don't tend to go towards gruesome. I go more towards cool things. When I say cool, I don't mean that gruesome things aren't cool. I mean, like... I don't want to say more attractive things with creatures, but um, yeah, it doesn't sound like a good description either. I just know I don't do a lot of really ugly creatures, <laughs> but they add an awesome flavor. Uh, Kate, when she was running her campaign, I believe she threw some gruesome stuff at us. Okay. The Knolls. Okay, goblins. Flesh Golem. Looks like Frankenstein or something, but yeah, yeah, I don't think he's not dead though. Let me look. No, 
nice construct. Flesh golem. Yeah. Grimlock. Oh, this guy is creepy. I mean, this is good Halloween stuff. Grimlock. He's not undead, but... You know, liches, actually, I guess got the hags. Um, I can't remember if I've ever used a hag, and that's just a wicked creature. Green hag. Night hag. I mean, the sea hag is a nightmare. I mean, my, my girlfriend, Kate, she... She believe those are in her campaign, and... They were wicked. To, they, they really add a cool flavor to the to that session, but I just haven't used them. Um, harpies, hellhounds, helmed horrors. It's a construct. Okay. Still, hell horrors, helmed horrors. You know, they look like a they look kind of like a suit of armor walking around. They're not undead though. Okay, they're construct. Into H, keeping going. Homunculus, tiny construct. I mean, looks like kind of like a bat. Intellect devour. I mean, this stuff is all really creepy. I mean, yeah, I've never used that before. Jackal. Okay, invisible stalker. That's an elemental, actually. Jackal wear. Those are very cool. I think I've used those recently. Jackal wares. Jackal version of a werewolfy thing, I think. Shape changer. Kobolds, kinkus, kraken. Okay. Oh, yeah. Lich. I mean, I mean, just ready to go. High level or not high level, whatever. I mean,. I guess if it's a low level, they'll be in deep trouble. Lich is a uh, pretty, there's got to be a lot of one shots out there that use liches. Um, yeah. Then you go into the lycanthropes. Wear bear, where I use all of, I use pretty frequently. Wear boars, can't remember if I've used. Wear rats, I believe. I had some like thieves that were wear rats. Wear tigers, I do use. Werewolves, I use more than anything else. In regards to lycanthropes, Medusa's just really cool looking. I mean, she'd be a cool one shot thing for sure. Yeah. If it's. Uh... Merfolk. I mean, let's see. Mimics, creepy. Mind flares, creeper, creepy. They're aberrations, but they're. Let's see here. Into the mumdrum movement. Mummies. Yeah, I did a mummy's cool, but I did a I did a mummy lord thing a while ago. It was part of a desert under a temple under the sand in a desert. Uh, the mummy lord was not the main baddie in that place, but he was a he was there. And uh Kate's group did battle him and it was uh, pretty wicked. Highly recommend Mummy Lords. That's a lot of fun. Nagas. Large undead. Bone Naga. Big bone like the bone snakes that are bone. I mean, when I see the Nightmare, I do think of like, you know, Ichabod Crane. Just, um, you know, Headless Horseman. You could definitely, I mean, that's just the greatest story. Some kind of Headless Horseman on a Nightmare would be good. Alright. There's ogres. Oni's. Oozes are always good. Black pudding's always good. Those are traditional dungeon things actually. But moving on. Orcs. Love orcs. Um just peek a chat again. I mean, pseudo dragons are so cool. It's little dragons that hang out on the desks of, well, they don't just do that, but they can hang out on the desk of a wizard and just cuckoo. <clears throat> it's a pretty good creature. Um, Quogoth, I can't say that I've used one, but 
it's definitely a good kind of it looks like a wintry scary you know creature out of the mountains revenants i've used very cool i think that they i think that they want to come back and kill the people that killed them or something i know that um there were some that appeared at kate's castle and they'd been uh, several of them and they had been slain by werewolves i believe and he wanted revenge and they asked either asked for our help or something and i think that, that released them maybe that sends their spirits beyond once uh, once the ones that have killed them die or something like that <clears throat> can't remember for sure just i just remember just what I've told you. <laughs> I don't remember any more specifics than that. Let's see. Scarecrow. I mean, creepy, man. This is a good. I mean, you can just, you know, even if it's in a cornfield surrounding some haunted whatever, you know, deal with that. Yeah. And um, scarecrows that come to life, maybe because of the full moon, because of uh, the the day, the Halloween day, you know, like it brings creatures to life. Uh, this, is, this is a construct, but, you know, you don't have to stick strictly to the undead. Shadow. I always like that picture. Yeah. Shadows are cool. Getting the yeses here. Okay. Skeletons. I mean, can't go wrong with skeletons. And you got the skeleton minotaurs too, which I've used. Protecting a treasure in a temple. They were very cool. And uh, specters. Death slad. I mean, slads are creepy, and there you got a death one. You could <clears throat> weave that into something. Let's see here. Tarask. I've never used to Tarask. Okay. Troglodytes or not? It's still kind of a creature, the Black Lagoon looking, which is a classic, you know, Halloween time thing. Trolls. Did some trolls under the bridge for my brother recently, not, not a couple months ago. <clears throat> vampires, vampires. I, I call them vampires, but I called it a vampire this time. I know some people call them that. Vampires are classic. Um, uh, I mean, I know at some point I would love to just do the baddest asses vampire. I don't know if you a one shot or not. I have hand van. I've had a few vampires. In my big campaign, um, one Kate and her group didn't even know he was a vampire, and he was kind of eyeing her, but did not make a move. And she knew him for a while, or didn't go. Anyway, she found out later that she, that, that that he was from. And, uh, she was shocked that he was a vampire. Um, and then the thing I met my brother recently on my new realm that I'm creating that I might use if I stream online. I had some vampires spawn. No, no, no. I take that back. I was game testing uh, Hycon, my my upcoming campaign my adventures module. I was game testing game game testing the world. Had some vampire spawn or spawn show up, and um, they were able to survive it. And then it was upset and hunted and attacked them again later, recently. Okay, so vampires, vampire spawns are really cool. Creepy, creepy, creepy. <clears throat> you can have all kinds of fun with those things before you ever got to a, to the vampire or vampires, depending on what you're doing. Whites, pretty cool, I think I've used them. Let's see here. Wraiths, yeah. I don't know if I've used them, but they're cool. That picture is wicked. All right. Getting towards the back of the book. You want to, I mean, you want to pure blood. These girls are pretty scary looking. Could definitely do a whole you want to thing connected to um, set. Set. The god set is in my current. Um, Discord adventure. He's a little bit in it. A little bit. And uh, did you do some Uantis recently? Not those. They're just creepy looking. Here's the undead section. Yeah, it's page 315 in your monster's manual. There's some pictures of the undead that they have stats for. 
Beholder, Zombie, Ogre Zombie. Yeah, Zombie. It's zombies, Beholder Zombies, and Ogre Zombies. Yeah. Yeah, so, and you move into like the kind of other section where you get some extra creatures in the back. But anyway, yeah, so I just kind of wanted to get on here and talk, if there's anybody on there, about Halloween, about creatures you might use or that you've used. And then I also wanted to um, just kind of whisk. Take my brother's idea and, and, and go through the book and kind of talk about it a little bit. And maybe if somebody sees this, I get some ideas, you know. Um, like I said, anybody can just pick up their monster manual, but they don't necessarily do it. And there's a lot of creatures that I've never used. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it there. And um, like I said, my socials are down below. Um, if you catch this later uh, or if you catch this on my YouTube, um, you feel free to uh, either you can reach out to me on my Twitter, socials are below, or on my YouTube if you want to reply to this video or any of the videos about the subjects that are talked about, I will get back to you. I will I will respond to any kind of ideas or thoughts about anything that any of my videos hold. But I put them up on YouTube because I have a channel there, but I also, it's a good place to people to respond later if they don't see me live. So other than that, let's see, it's November, September 17th, so I'll probably, I'm, I'm sure I'll be on here several more times before we get to Halloween. That's, uh, you know, five or six weeks away. So I really appreciate you coming by. And um, and uh, if I don't, if I don't for some reason get on here in the next five or six weeks or if you just don't see any more of my videos, happy Halloween for sure. And um, yeah, thanks so much.